Hey guys, welcome to another video. If you didn't know already, I used to have a BMW 1 Series before my CLA 45 over there. It was just a 116D, which is what this is here, except obviously my one was the previous generation. I am in the very latest generation of BMW 1 Series right now. My one was a Sport. Um, this is an M Sport, so there are a few uh, differences between you know the, the different trim levels but um, on top of that there are several changes between um, the previous generation and this generation so I thought I'd just go through most of those with you. To start with the dashboard looks very similar to the previous generation all this section here looks pretty much the same um, I'm not sure if that's a slightly bigger screen um, as standard it's six and a half inches now um, if we just put the ignition on. You do get a bit more equipment as standard. Um, things like Bluetooth, uh, cruise control, um, full connectivity between your phone via Bluetooth. Um, that, that all comes as standard. Um, sat nav, I'm not too sure. Um, this car has it. Um, whether it is an optional extra, I think it might have been. Um, I don't think you get it as standard in the 116D. One thing that I did notice is, you know, this is the the very latest BMW steering wheel. If you had the, if you chose the the 116D Sport, I noticed that you get the old style steering wheel. This this wheel is much nicer um, in terms of design, um, the way it feels. It's quite soft, to be honest. I'm quite surprised at that. It uses a very soft touch leather. Um, the only solid bit is this this trim here, which does sound a bit hollow. If I'm honest. In terms of seat design, it's you know the actual shape um, and everything is, I think, pretty much the same. The only difference is that this is the M Sport, so you do get this um, part Alcantara. I think it's Alcantara. I'd be very impressed if it is. Plus this blue diamond stitching kind of thing, which, to be honest, actually looks quite nice. In my sports, I just had. Um, all sport models, the, the colour is red, so you'd have red red trim around here um, and red stitching. So the colour for M Sport is blue, so hence, you know, the blue stitching. You don't get any blue trim around here, which I'm a bit surprised by. As standard also, um, you do get rear parking sensors and you get a display. Let's have a look. If we put the car and it comes up there and it's not just um, you know a noise you do get to see a display of how close things are and that all comes as standard I think that's pretty good you know apart from that on the face of it I can't see too much that's different um, this is an updated iDrive system you know if you look online the iDrive system is rated quite highly in terms of how easy it is to use in comparison to say Mercedes and Audi. It's definitely easier to use than Mercedes, which, you know, which is what I've been used to. Can't comment too much on the Audi system because I've, I've never owned an Audi, I've not spent too long in them, so you'll have to work that one out for yourself. Here there are a few more buttons than what I remember, but again, it's all quite easy to navigate through. Everything makes sense for starters. Shortcuts to the main things you'd use, you know, radio, media, I think that's quite good. Uh, in my Mercedes, I do need to fiddle a bit to get to certain certain menus. One small thing that I have noticed between my old BMW and this, um, it's a really small thing, it's the gear lever. So in, the, in my old one, um, I'm not sure whether it's because this is an M Sport, but in my one, it was just, it wasn't very nice to hold and and the distance between gears was further compared to this. They're much shorter, which I prefer. Um, it gives it a more of a sporty feel. Whether you actually pick up on that, I'm not sure. It's just something that I've noticed. However, one of the biggest changes for this car, um, for this model in particular, um, isn't actually inside or outside. It's under the bonnet, which I shall demonstrate to you now. Now 
Now the old 116D was powered by a two litre engine. Um, you know, that was found across the 116D, the 118, the 120, and right up to the 125. It was just, shut up. It was just heavily detuned for the 116. What you'll find in this is a 1.5 litre engine. Um, and that's only in the 116D. Once you move back up to the 118, um, it does go back to a two liter. Now, even though it's a smaller engine, um, it's more efficient. You get the same amount of power, similar torque figures and etc. But how it drives and everything, I'm not too sure yet. Not had a proper drive of the car yet. Um, so I'll let you know on that. Although, as I've already mentioned, this is the M Sport. So you do get a lot of exterior styling differences. For me, there are two key things which kind of differentiate an M Sport from basically a Sport or an SE. First thing are the alloy wheels. These are the 18 inch options. Um, the Sport wheels are uh, a bit different. The second thing for me is this panel here, basically. In the SC and Sport models, it's basically color match to whatever the car is so you know this is white so you'd expect this to be white with all the M Sport models it tends to be this like really dark gray finish um, and you know that makes it really easy to differentiate from the back in terms of other things that I can spot um, this this particular model does come with uh, tinted rear windows and a tinted rear windscreen you do get small touches like this the m sport badge on the side and you also get the bmw led headlamps um, which i think they come as standard on the m sport and not the sport if they do that's quite good because the headlights do work very well and i'll give you a quick demo right now even though it is daylight So they are those uh, BMW, are they called angel eyes or I don't actually know what they're called. Someone can point that out for me. With the M Sport you do get the M Sport body kit which uh, I showed you at the back but you do get a sportier front bumper side skirt and the suspension is actually lowered as well um, i'm not sure how much by with the bigger alloys you do have lower profile tires naturally and with the m sport you do get a stiffer suspension now in terms of rear space it all looks um, pretty familiar um, i can't think that it's changed too much uh, one thing that i do know is that the one series does have a slightly lower roof than say the Audi A3 so it does restrict headroom a bit in the back for taller passengers um, but it's not going to be massive I don't think boot space um, looks similar straight away it's got handy features you've got this side netting here and what I always complain about my CLA you've got these hooks which mine doesn't have and it's just for basically putting your bag handles on there and it just stops everything from rolling around the rear seats do fold down as well so you know if you want to completely stuff the car you can do there you have it guys my first impressions on the very latest generation of the BMW 1 series um, and you know some of the differences you'll find between this very latest version and the previous generation if you've got any questions about the one series in general ask them down below i'll do my best to get back to you and if there are any future videos you want me to do about the one series in general ask away down below and hopefully i'll get around to do them this car is readily available um, pretty much all the time so 
I'll try and do some content around this and maybe some of its potential rivals as well. And as always, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.